So this is just a short video about how to use Alifia for ground truth production with the example of an Arabic document. So I will start straight away. You can open an image, in this case a JPEG image, uh, ideally it would be a full resolution image TIFF, PNG, JPEG also. So in this case it's not a very high resolution but I use this as an example. To start with you don't really need a bitonal image but some of the features of Alifa require one. It will remind you but I create one now straight away so you can binarize with uh, different methods. So I just try a fully automated one. Okay, so it looks alright already. So you can always switch between the two images. Um, if the bitone images turns out to be very noisy. You can use some of these tools here to remove some of the noise. I won't go into that now. So to start with you can annotate uh, blocks or regions as they are called here. You could do everything uh, manually or use some uh, semi-automated tools to shrink around the foreground of the image. Um, so I'm going to show both now. So in this case uh, it might make sense to switch to the bitonal image to see where maybe some noises which could be avoided. So there are some uh, shrinker tools which are more suitable for text, some are more suitable for graphics. So uh, I will just use the uh, coarse contour one. So you have the option to draw a rectangle or a polygon. So I use for the marginalia here, I use a, just a rectangle and you see it shrinks. Uh, if you want to annotate uh, figures, graphics like this, you could use the fine contour ones. I use the polygon tool in this case. Just draw quickly around and then it will create a more fine outline. The text regions which are bigger you also would need a polygon. So let's try the coarse contour tool again. Just capture the whole thing. And that's done. And if you find any overlap which you don't want or want to correct some of the things you can use uh, the edit tool and simply edit the polygon as required. Okay, so uh, I guess this is also a block so you could just uh, use manual tools as well, so just draw a rectangle. If you want to shrink what you have already drawn somewhere then you can use the shrinking tools as you need to and it will re-shrink this. Okay, um, you could annotate the noise as well and also the page border, which I won't do now. Um, now, by default, Alifia will create text regions. So, if it's not activated, you can activate the labels here. You see, paragraph is the default region type. If you simply double click, a region will open the properties or attributes dialog and you see it's a text region and there's a text type, in this case paragraph. Uh, we could change this for the marginalia to marginalia and for this we could say it's a, it's a graphic. There are some other attributes which I won't go into detail now. So, but that's already it for the regions or blocks. And you can save this as an XML file. And the XML file looks something like this. Um, so essentially very basic. You have some metadata, then a page with the regions, so in this case text region, 
graphic regions, the regions we created, and the polygons as simple xy points in a points attribute. Okay, that's it for the blocks. Text lines is very similar, so there's the option to either go bottom up or top down. So bottom up would be if you want to select uh, connect the components for one text line and then create a polygon around it, you can do it like this. And if you want the top-down approach, you can use the region polygon you already have and split it. And this would work like this. So either you can use a very quick split if it is a very clear line between the lines, otherwise you can draw a polygon. So I don't know. Uh, where to put it exactly, and then it would create two text lines from this. And also there's a way if two text lines are connected like this, you can use another split tool which cuts through and then it would, yeah, not include this descender there, but uh, it might actually be that you have to include it in this case when when you're finished at some point, I just do it not very nicely now. So again, the same thing as with regions, once you're finished, you can use the edit tool to correct as much as you need to. As much as little as you need to. And what you could also do is just delete these. Um, if it's a fairly simple one, you can also try the automated text line detection and see what that returns and then just correct it. If not, try this on Arabic, but it might work for some documents and not for others. And if you also want to annotate the baselines, that can be done from here as well. So let's zoom in a little bit and just select one example here. Then you can see with just a couple of clicks you might be able to get a, a decent baseline. And if the text line is straight you could even just do one click right and it would have a baseline. Otherwise you can correct it as you want it. And then also and again for some simple examples you might want to try um, experimental baseline detection and then maybe just correct what it has produced. Okay, that's it for that. Then finally for the text transcription, it's very straightforward. You have a text dialog where you can just uh, either copy and paste the text you already have from somewhere or just enter it here. If necessary, you can change the font. Once you've done the text for the blocks, you can also continue for the text for the text lines, which is which can be both stored simultaneously in the page XML file. You don't have to type that again, you can just propagate the text from the region to the text lines using the text propagation and yeah, I won't explain that in detail. Yeah, this is it. Many more features and I can't explain everything now, but they're very flexible.